welcome back to the Audi RS6 Performance. Now, today is not about this car. It is about something unique and different to this channel, but this is merely my vessel of choice to whisk my way down to the outskirts of London to discover some exclusive tech that is coming from CSR, or in this case, CSR2. Uh, that name might sound familiar to you guys. If you're a mobile gamer, those guys uh, make a cracking racing game for the iPhone and iPad. Um, now, I'm intrigued because they haven't told me too much about it. Uh, in fact, upon my first contact with them, they made me sign an NDA. It's for, for you guys who don't know what that is, that's a non-disclosure agreement uh, so that uh, I wouldn't let the cat out of the bag as to what these guys have been working on. And until now, I still don't really know what it's about other than they have said to me that they have some tech, uh, which is launching soon, that will immerse me further in the world of cars, uh, cars that I've owned, cars that I currently own, and cars that I have on order and are coming in the future. I mean, whenever, whenever those kind of words come out of someone's mouth, I am all ears. So we're on our way down to an undisclosed lo location. Now it's all very secret. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and find out what it's all about. So without further ado, let's head on down, see what's what. I think we have found it. There's activity in the driveway. That's a nice place. Check it out. This place is awesome. Yeah, I've got a feeling we're in the right destination. It's fancy enough. All right, let's head inside and see what this thing's all about. Okay, I've just got to the house. I've had a briefing with the guys from CSR2. Um, not sure if you follow this channel regularly or not, but a few years ago, I was incredibly lucky to get myself a 458 Speciale. Uh, the order time on that took 18 months. And in that time, all I did was go online uh, and check out pictures and videos of that car. When it finally arrived, it was incredible. I'm in the incredible position that I've managed to get an order on the new Ferrari 812 Superfast. I'm in the same position again, incredibly excited, but the waiting list is about 18 months. So we're talking like mid 2019. Um, guys at CSR2 have told me that with this, I'm able to go and check out my car on the drive as if it's there. So let's go out to the drive and see what it's all about. Okay, got the 812 super fast loaded up. Graphics are already looking outstanding. Let's load up this augmented reality and see what's what. So I'm gonna select real world because we are in the driveway. Scan a surface, place car. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just scaling it to fit real world. I've been told if I double tap, and ask, oh, look at that. The door is <laughs> the door is opening. Okay, let's go and check out the interior. This is crazy. I'm actually I'm actually slowing down walking because I think I'm gonna bump into the car. It really feels like I can just reach out and touch it. All right, let's go down. Phenomenal. I'm gonna see if I can go in any further. Let's have a look in there. Wow, I'm like, I am in this. I'm actually in the car. Look at the detail on that. They've even got the carbon bridge here the control bridge, passenger, the, even spec this one with the, uh, the optional passenger display here. So when the car's actually driving, this shows the passenger how fast they're going. So they, they too can be scared. Quite the feature, right? Let's back it out. Even the gloss effect on the car, but it just looks so real. And look at this, while we're outside, let's go have another stoop down, check out the carbon. Look at that. Detail, it's ridiculous. Even the tire tread. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, with the uh, Speciali, all I was doing every day was checking out pictures. If I had this available two years ago, the amount of detail and, and also spec options, like when I was changing the spec of my car, I would actually find photos online and go into Photoshop and tweak it. And then I would send it off and be like, can we do this, can we do that? Imagine being able to like, position the car virtually in your drive or in, in your garage and just being able to like change the spec and spin it around. 
It's nuts. Right, I'm going to walk around to the front. I'm assuming we can open up the engine bay. Um, if there's anywhere that there's attention to detail, it is in there. So, let's double tap this. Look at that. Wow, right. Let's go and see how much attention to detail they've got on this V12. That block right there that is the holy grail of the automotive industry. We're in a, an, an era right now where everything's going turbocharged and for Ferrari to be making a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12 is sensational. Look at this, we can even go in and on a real car there's a chassis number. Yeah, and it is there. Look at that. An actual chassis number, 223366. Immense. I mean, I've experienced some AR, but I've never seen it to this degree and to be able to access it just on your iPad. All right, we just finished with the 812 Superfast. Now let's jump up to the big boys' toys, the Bugatti Chiron. Obviously, one of the amazing things about this is it's kind of giving you as close as you're going to get to cars that you may never, ever see. Um, so let's load it up. Set this thing up in AR again. Real world, scanning a surface, and then up to the horizon, and then in it comes. Place car, voila. Chiron, sir. It's ridiculous. So straight away, we can uh, change the mapping of the light. We've got an overcast day now, so I'm gonna change it to overcast. I think I'm gonna go check out the wing first. One of the things that you don't appreciate on cars of this magnitude is just how much sculpture there is. And to be able to into, look, to into, look at that. I mean, you're closing the wing on a Chiron. And back again. <laughs> it's so responsive as well. It's come straight back up. Look how it articulates. And what is cool is, look, that's the kind of sculpture that I'm talking about right there that you really just don't see on a photo. If we close it back down again, those three fins line up with the sculpture on the car. I mean, it's just ludicrous, man. Like the detail is so cool. The, my favorite thing about this so far is how immersed I, I feel in this. I'm still looking over the iPad, convinced that this car's there. Now, standout feature. If you follow this line here, this, this sweeping C motion, you can kind of uh, see that in the logo of Sh Chiron. But if we go inside, you can see between the seats, this internal sweeping C follows round on the inside to match this external line. It's just crazy. The detail on it as well. It's funny, when I was on, on my way here, don't get me wrong, I, you know, I love to bring you guys all sorts of different kinds of car content. On my drive here, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, you know, as mentioned, I've been fortunate enough to experience some AR, but never to this degree, and it's on an iPad. I mean, it's so accessible. Just before we go and check something else out, let's go inside and check out what the driver would experience. The mapping detail on this is next level. Just look at it. I mean, we're, we're basically there. It's unbelievable. But what this has given me is some enthusiasm to go and try some more cars. I wonder if the lounge is big enough to fit a Pagani. Check it out. Okay, I'm in the lounge. I was just thinking, some people like to have scale models of cars in their home. I, however, like to have the real thing. Check this out, we have a Huayra BC in the lounge. It's just about squeezing in between the sofa and the wall. Now, one of the key features of this car is that the, the entire thing is essentially one big transforming clamshell. So we're gonna press this button and watch this, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that just ridiculous? The detail on, on this car as well. I've never known any brand quite do attention to detail like Pagani. It is truly outstanding. And to have it virtually in your lounge has to be the greatest ornament for every petrol head out there. Fantastic. And there we have it, back in the RS6. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect from today. The guys from CSR2, when they reached out, they played their cards very close to their chest. 
but I can't believe how immersed I was in that. What you didn't see off camera was how much time I spent playing around with that car. It was the Huayra in the living room that did it for me. Like, it's so abstract, but so cool. You can open up the whole clamshell of that car and it's in your lounge. And it opened up a world of what I am gonna foresee is a world of screenshots of supercars in crazy places. I cannot wait to see what people share with this app once it gets out there. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna go back and download it now because I didn't have enough time with it. Uh, but I just wanna say, I wanna say a, a big thanks to the guys from CSR2 for giving me uh, access to that tech before it launched. And let me know, let me know in the comments below if you guys are into content like this. I always like hearing from you guys if you're into gaming or wanna see more of the you know tech side of things. Uh, so please let me know in the comments below and be sure to share with me your screenshots uh, from this app when you get it, because it's, it's just crazy fun. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao. Thank you.